Good morning, senor. Good morning, senorita. Hi, Bo. Good morning. It's Thanksgiving morning. Mike is making pizza bread, pizza roll. I need to wash my hands now that I just pet the dog. And I am attempting to make mac and cheese for the first time ever. It is a mess in here, but we're having a good time. Happy Thanksgiving. My family has the sense that I never cook, but I do cook and I actually cooked dinner last night. I made chicken lettuce wraps and they were delicious. So I'm hoping our mac and cheese comes out okay so that they can stop talking about me and how I never cook. Look at how sexual all this cheese is. I mean, I'm not gonna measure this. How do we feel about that? I'm just gonna do like half, I think. You're the boss lady. I'm not though. I feel very self-conscious about this pasta. Macaroni, what is it? Macaroni and cheese. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, my stomach hurts. I'm gonna add this. This is the before, because I forgot to do the before, and we're gonna see the after. Good morning, welcome to a new vlog. It is the day after Thanksgiving. I really did a crap job of filming any of my Thanksgiving yesterday, um, but I showed you guys the mac and cheese that I made, which, by the way, my family all said, except for my dad, because he didn't try it, but my family collectively said that it was the best thing that we ate at Thanksgiving. So claps and snaps to me. Boom shakalaka is all I have to say. I will put the recipe of my mac and cheese down below. It was expensive to make. Let me tell you something. Cheese is very expensive. Today is Black Friday. I've already done a lot of damage. I've spent a lot of money. I need a new ring light. So I asked Mike for a new ring light because I don't know if I mentioned to you guys, but we brought my ring light to our wedding for pictures. And I think like in the transportation of the ring light, we broke it. So she no longer works, which is why it's been really hard for me to film anything because this is literally five hours of daylight and then once the daylight is gone i can't film anything i've also been working out and eating a lot healthier and i've seen really quick results with my body my mood is like a little bit better but i'm i don't know i'm still moody yesterday started out pretty good and then i find that like driving home sometimes i get really emotional and i hate driving and when i do drive this maybe this is why i hate driving sometimes when i'm driving by myself I get like deep in my thoughts and then I get really sad and then it's like I get home and I'm just a sad thing. So uh, Thanksgiving, I don't know. I find the holidays to be hard in general, but this year with my dad being sick, they're a little bit harder, honestly. Yesterday was like an okay day, not a great day. Today I woke up and I literally said to myself the moment that I woke up, I'm going to have a good day today because I cannot not have a good day today. I have this cup of coffee that I have not yet tried because Mike and I went to Whole Foods yesterday and I've been on this journey to eliminate gums and oils from my milks. I started drinking 2% milk and then that was just wreaking havoc on my stomach in a whole other way. Like, I don't think I'm lactose intolerant. I can eat yogurt, I can eat cheese. I really think that milk messes me up. When I went to ShopRite last time, I tried to find another oat milk and an almond milk that didn't have either one and I couldn't find one. So we went to Whole Foods and I tried this. This is milk, well I bought this. We're gonna try it right now for the first time. This is oat milk, this is just the original one. One, two, and it literally has three ingredients. Filtered water, organic gluten-free oats, and Himalayan pink salt. I love salt. So we're gonna try this. Guess how much this was? Guess. This was like $8 for this little thing. I bought another one that's just almond milk from the same brand, it's not oat milk, for Mike. And then we got home and he told me that he's not gonna drink it because it's too expensive. And I was like, dude, if you had told me that, I would have bought two oat milks, okay? I wanna try it and see how it is. However, I really want to make this shift in my life where 
I'm eating more healthy and holistically. I really need a creamer that doesn't have oils or gums in it because I went to Whole Foods last night while we were there and I was looking and all of them have gums or oils in them. But I guess like that's what makes a creamer fun. I have no idea, but let's try this. It's definitely not that great. It tastes like watered down. But that's okay. It's really not that bad. It's just like not an exciting cup of coffee. And I live for an exciting cup of coffee. So this is gonna be a hard adjust for me. How stinking cute is this photo? I definitely was saying something inappropriate to him, which is how I made him laugh half the time. Brides, here is a pro tip. If your man is not into photography, which Mike does not like having his photo taken, just whisper like dirty things. I had him hysterical the whole time, hysterical. And look at these fake flowers that I got on Amazon. Don't they look really real? I'll try to find them and link them down below, but how cute is this little section? So cute. I swear to God, every time I sit down to film a video in the morning, my neighbor turns his lawnmower on. I think he's done, he might not be done, but we're just going to ignore him like I ignore my problems. So I have all of my Merit stuff out in front of me, which if you don't know anything about Merit, it is a clean beauty brand. I do work with Merit. So if you are interested in any of the products that I mentioned today or ever here that are Merit related, I do put my affiliate link down below. There's a couple things though that I'm gonna be real with you that I think you absolutely need and some things that I don't think that you need. But either way, should you decide to try anything, like the formula is just so good. The only sale of the year that they have, and you can bet your ass I'm gonna buy some stuff and I'm also gonna use my my link that I'm gonna link down below. So it's 20% off this Black Friday and Cyber Monday sale. I'm very excited. I love me some Merit. You've seen a lot of Merit um, shout outs here on my channel, a lot of dedicated videos. For the first time today, I'm going to try the, what is it? I could just read it right here. Why am I reading the email to figure out what I'm trying? The Great Skin Instant Glow Serum. My skin is so freaking dry. I got out of the shower and I didn't put anything on it. So we're gonna try this. How luxe, how luxe is that? So it says to shake well, massage two to three pumps into the skin before or after a moisturizer in the morning or twice a day. I'm gonna try it before, no, I'm gonna try it after a moisturizer. And it's supposed to hydrate and plump the skin for a smooth glass-like appearance. Now I'm gonna be using mostly Merit products, but I did a kind of like glass skin. And I say this because I just look really juicy and here comes my neighbor on the lawnmower. I'm gonna use the ass end of this amazing beach mist. I have tried a lot of beach mists, not beach mists. I have tried a lot of facial mists lately because this one is dwindling to the end and I want to use up all the things that I already have, which you guys know is something that I've been trying to do a lot more lately, but none of the facial sprays are as good as this and I have tried four recently. They just feel like sticky. <gasps> Come on. Anyone wants to buy this for me for Christmas so I don't feel bad? Oh my God, we're on the end. Guys, look, I was assaulted. Good thing I didn't put this over top of my makeup because it would have ruined my face. But if anyone wants to buy me this for Christmas and I'm gonna use my Neutrogena Clear Face Oil 30. Again, we haven't gotten to Merit yet, but we're gonna get there because I think Mike and I are gonna go for a walk. And so, I'm gonna put some sunscreen on. I'm really good about wearing sunscreen, but like dark spots still happen. So I kind of have invested in some hats recently. And I think I'm gonna be one of those like people that wears a hat when she's outside all the time. How do we feel about that? I feel like a lot of people get dark spots right here, like on the highest points of their cheeks. Where's that little eye cream I'm trying to finish? going through all of my products and trying to get rid of as much things as possible. And this is the Claudalie Energizing Soothing Eye Cream. I really like this. It's probably expensive and I really don't need an eye cream at the moment. Eye drops just make your eye makeup pop. Mm -hmm. It's like a two second thing that just really like brings the drama. Also, in going through all of my things, I have a lot of chapsticks. I really don't like Burt's Bees. I love that this one is hemp. It smells really nice and it's relaxing, but I find that like once it dissolves off of my lips, my lips 
are craving more. Whereas I don't feel like that with this. This is the Fresh Sugar Advanced Therapy. I'm gonna use these because I don't wanna waste the Burt's Bees, but I gotta be honest, in my little tray of chapsticks, I don't really reach for this. Shake well after cleansing and before moisturizer. I thought I could do before or after. Okay, it says before moisturizer, but we're just gonna use it like this. Oh wow, that's very liquidy. Okay, and I'm just gonna kind of just put this, oh my God, this guy and his effing lawnmower. This is really nice. It's like a thin consistency. But I wonder how it's gonna sit over top of my SPF. Oh, it feels really nice on the skin. I just don't like how runny it is. That's just because I'm scared I'm gonna get it on my clothes because I'm a hot mess express, but it feels really nice. It has like a light, oily, not scent feeling. It doesn't really smell like anything. This bottle is so freaking beautiful. I'm gonna apply this terracotta blush. I use this as a bronzer. I am dying to try Merit's bronzer. However, I haven't gotten my hands on it and I'm gonna buy it in this sale, you better believe. But this is the terracotta blush, sculpting my face and bronzing my face with this. This is just like a really light kind of makeup day that just looks really natural, really beautiful. And I'm picking it up with this Yensa brush and stamping it into the skin. And I just wanna kinda like keep a mental note of how my makeup goes over top of this base. And I have had a few breakouts recently, which I'm trying to think of why. I haven't really been trying any new skincare. I have been a little stressed, but I don't know. I've been eating healthier, so I don't really know why I'm breaking out. But I feel like the serum so far has made this product a little bit more pigmented than it normally is. Like it's kind of like gripping the makeup and keeping the pigmentation, which I like. This is one half of my face with the bronzer and a little bit sculpts it. I kind of use it like a bronzer, And then this is the other half with nothing on it. I'm just gonna go ahead and bronze this side. And I also really like to put some in the crease, like on the brow bone, I should say, because it lifts the eye. I don't know if you can see that. It's like the slightest little bit. It makes all the difference. Sometimes like honestly, not sometimes, all the time, the details are what really set makeup looks apart. It's like the smallest things. But yeah, I'm very excited to be filming this video. I'm so excited to be working with Merit again. It's just, again, such a brand that I love. And like I said a little while ago, I'm trying to use things that are a little bit cleaner, I'm trying to keep that in mind when purchasing things because I just feel like there's so much crap and everything now and I know that like I don't want to be crazy about it you know like I'm still going to use makeup that isn't clean but if I can find cleaner alternatives that I just reach for on a more everyday basis oh this is definitely a makeup look that I wear to work I wear every single day when I'm just trying to in and out be done with everything um, and I feel good about it because this is the makeup that I wear most and it's all clean beauty. So it makes me feel good. I don't know. Let me know. How do you feel about clean beauty? Do you care about it? Are you not interested in it? Like when it first came out, I really didn't care. And I got to be honest, as the time went on, I felt like it got a little bit more gimmicky to me. But like I've just opened my eyes to the fact that companies are just interested in making money. People, not all people and not all companies, but you know what I'm saying. Like it's all about money. And at the end of the day, if cutting a corner and throwing in a carcinogen into something meets the budget, like they're gonna throw it in. So I don't know. I'm just trying to be more aware, informed. And I'm not, I'm not poo-pooing those of you who are not on board because I was there for a pretty long time. But just a thought that we can all think about. Beverly Hills, this is another blush, but this one I actually use as a blush. This is my one of my favorite blushes ever. And like, honestly, for most of the year, this was the only blush I would wear. But then I fell back in love with the Tower 28 Happy Hour and the Say Beauty Peachy, so pretty. But just look, look at this. This is like a sun-kissed cheek. Who doesn't love a really pretty Oh, it's just like so pretty. 
and it looks so natural. I'm not really being specific with where I'm putting this. So like, if it looks really crazy, that's okay. I wanna do this thing. I saw someone do this on TikTok the other day where they took a little bit of the blush and they put it on the corners of their nose and then they blended it out and it looked so pretty. That looks really pretty. I'm gonna go in with a perfecting stick from Merit, which is kind of like a concealer slash foundation. I have two shades. I have the shade Linen and Dune, and I'm just gonna use Dune because I like Dune better. I bought them both because I wasn't sure what shade I would be, but I'm gonna pick it up with a Sephora 57 brush right from the stick. And I'm just gonna do one half of my face and I'm gonna use this like I would a concealer. Get rid of the redness around my mouth, in the center of my face. I'm gonna put this wherever I need a little bit of coverage. I'm kind of gonna use this like foundation and concealer, but only using it where I need to. And I'm gonna clean up the edge of my blush because I kind of brought it down a little bit too far on this side. Of it to the center of my face, center of my forehead, I should say, where I like it to look a little bit brighter here too. I feel like that's just like awakens me when this portion of my nose is brighter. This can move if you apply too much product. So I'm trying to be weary of how much I'm applying. Put some underneath the lip. Okay, can you see this half of my face is just covered and a little bit brighter, but it still looks natural. Like it doesn't look like I'm wearing a lot of makeup and holy do, my face is really dewy. And I gotta say, this makeup is sitting really beautifully on top of the serum. Oh my God. My skin does feel heavier than usual. Like I can feel like there's product on my face where I don't normally feel that way when using these Merit products. So it's definitely a thicker serum. I think those of you who have oily skin, you might not like it. But if you're dry like me, I think this will be great in the winter so long as it doesn't move my makeup around all day. If it moves my makeup around all day, I'm gonna be upset. I'm just gonna quickly fill my brows in with the Gucci brow pencil. Honestly, guys, most days I just go in with the Merit brow pomade, which I'm gonna go in with after. Or I should say later on, not later on, but cause we're almost done. But towards the end of this makeup routine, but I kind of want a bolder brow today. So I'm gonna use a little bit of this Gucci brow pencil and Merit, if you're watching this, can you please make a clear brow gel? I really want a clear brow gel from you because last night I wanted to wear a clear brow gel and I tried the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow gel and it was fine and it really, really keeps your brow hairs in place all day long, but it kind of feels like a hairspray on your brows and then at the end of the day I went to go like wipe my makeup off with my gel cleanser and I just really felt myself like pulling on my brows and I don't like that. I feel like you lose brow hairs that way and it's not good to like really pull on the skin around your eye. So I really want Merit to make a clear brow gel um, because whenever I take this guy off, this is the brown one, whenever I take it off it comes right off. There's no struggle, there's no fighting, it's really nice. And just like, look at this Gucci brow pencil. Mm. Okay, they look a little aggressive, but that's okay. I'm gonna go back in with my Sephora brush. I'm not picking up anything, no more, but I'm just kind of like cleaning the edges of my brows with this. I'm going back in with my blush brush. I'm not adding anything else to it, but I'm kind of just using this to like restamp in the blush to make it look more blended with my face. Oh my God, look at the skin though. Look at the skin. I'm waiting for Merit to make a powder, but until then, I'm gonna use my trusty Laura Mercier powder. Most days I don't powder my face, but I've really been enjoying powdering the center. I just feel like I'll show you the one half. Like I'm lazy and I don't do it and it just like helps my dry skin. But since I've been doing it lately, my makeup looks better. Moda Pro, this is the BMX 265. Picking up a bit of this, like just a dot of the powder and I'm tapping off the excess and I'm gonna look up and stamp underneath the eyes. And I'm gonna use this just on the side of my face. The center where I don't like to be shiny. Look at how shiny I am on this side, which I love this. Just like in here, I don't love 
but now it's not as shiny in here and it makes me, I don't know, look less puffy. I feel like I look younger with a little bit of powder right there. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. What are your feelings? I would love to hear. I'm really not gonna do anything crazy with the eyes, but I wanna wear a little something on the eyes and I wanna be festive. So I'm just gonna take this bronzer from NARS and I'm just gonna put this in my crease. Oh my God, what is happening? Did I blend with a purple? Oh shit, I think I did. Okay, it's fine. Uh, I think there was a little purple left over on this brush, but the idea was to just take my bronzer to add a little bit of depth, but I'll just use whatever the hell this color is. It's not that bad, but when you wanna dilute an eyeshadow, like sometimes going in with a different shade of eyeshadow isn't the way to do it. Um, so I'm gonna show you right now what I do. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up a little translucent powder on my blending brush. Good old Laura. And I'm just gonna blend this to soften. Do you see it just like soften that shade a little bit? I know the lighting in here is so bad, I'm very sorry. Um, I'm gonna take the Fenty How Many Carrots highlighter. And I'm just gonna throw that on the lid. Just for like a moment of sparkle. On the brow bone too. It's just like, oh, when the light hits it, it's just like a dancing eye. I love it so much. My sister-in-law gave me this eyeshadow palette from Clinique. Whoa, this white shade, look at this as an inner corner highlight. I know we're not, we're steering a little far from Merit right now, but I just have to show you this. Look at that. My whole eye is just like awake and alive. I'm gonna put some underneath the brow. Put this where I'm a little purple naturally. Look at that eye, oh my inner corner. I just, I don't even know what this is. I'm gonna be so upset when I hit pan on the shade because let me tell you, there is no other inner corner highlight like it. There's not, there really isn't. In between my brows, just cause that's how good it is. I'm gonna put a little bit here, here. Oh, and I even put some on my cupids bow. Look at that, look at that. I'm gonna go ahead and throw my mascara on. I don't have the Merit one because I went through it, but oh my God, it is the best clean mascara I have ever tried. I highly recommend it. I'm gonna be buying that in the 20% off sale as well. It is their lengthening mascara. It is so good. A beautiful everyday mascara, but you guys know my favorite, favorite mascara of all time that is not clean beauty is my Lancome Lashy Doll, which I don't know where it is, but it's somewhere here. Highlighter from Merit. This is in the shade Kava. And I'm just gonna pat this up top. This is like super, super natural looking. I don't even like think I need this because my skin is so shiny today, but I'm just gonna add it because I love it. It is really nice. It is really natural. And it's nice because you could put it over top of powder, which is, hard to find in a cream product. Can you see? It's just so natural looking. I love it. And I like the little component. I don't draw on my face though, cause I find that it picks up the other makeup. So I like to pick it up with my finger and apply it. And then my hands down favorite Merit product is the 1980 Brow Gel. Again, I have brown and it just helps to fill them in. It also has properties in it that help your brow hairs grow. It like nourishes them. It's so freaking nice. And like I said, when you go to wash it off at night, it comes right off. There's no fussing or fighting. And I feel like that plays a big role in your lashes. Why do I keep saying your lashes? Your brows staying on longer. And last but not least, Merit, come out with a lip liner, please. I'm just gonna throw on this lip oil. I think it's a really pretty color. I just received this last night um, and I love it. This is in the shade Au Natural. And it literally is like my lips, but better. And it feels so good. And it's so hydrating. A wash of sheer color with rose hip and grape seed oils for healthy and never sticky lips. Just like look at my skin. It looks so freaking natural. This is my skin in front of the window. So we have natural lighting. Damn, I don't even like, I'm clearly I'm wearing makeup, but it looks so natural that it's like, 
it looks like I'm wearing just a hint of makeup. It's really beautiful. The only thing I will say is that I wanna try this serum underneath my moisturizer because my skin just feels a little bit heavy. Like I said, like I could just feel the makeup on it, whereas I normally can't feel makeup on it, but I just, this serum definitely helps the pigmentation go on better. My makeup looks flawless. My skin looks great. I just, the serum is really nice. And I think these products are beautiful with or without the serum, but I, being someone that uses these products every day and has not used the serum, using the serum, I can definitely tell a difference. Like it just lays on a little bit better, especially the perfecting stick. Like sometimes I find that as much as I love it, Sometimes when I lay it down, it can go on a little bunchy or patchy, especially over my dry skin. But that serum really did such a good job of hydrating my skin that putting any makeup over top of it, it didn't like catch. Like normally it catches in here and it looks really good. So A++, remember if you're interested in any of these products, the sale is going on, please use my link and let's move on to the rest of our day. What's up with that? Um, Terrible angle, however. I'm gonna clean the entire house today because this is what the house looks like and it needs a revamp. And I'm gonna film it for you really quick before Mike sees because Mike would have a heart attack if he knew I was showing you what it looks like. But it's a disaster. He's playing with garbage in the corner. You see that? That's a piece of garbage that he's playing with because it's just gotten out of control. I just cleaned for like a really long time. I'm gonna add a little bit more lipstick while I'm sitting here too. This is Merit in the shade Baby. I don't know if I put this on before. I think I just put the lip tint on. I kind of like, this color isn't great for me, but it's just such a comfortable lipstick. Mm, but I'm gonna put the lip oil over it, sorry. I'm getting very distracted. I just cleaned a lot and I feel really tired. <laughs> but also hyper, what's happening here? And I'm gonna go clean some more, but I walked past a mirror and what's happening to my under eyes? I did the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder, this one right here, and Charlotte Tilbury, I layered them because someone on my TikTok a long time ago, I was trying to figure out which one would look better on my face for the wedding. What would make it down the aisle with me? Makeup videos, which it's crazy that the wedding has come and gone and yet I waited how many years for it? Pretty nuts, anyway. I digress, I layer them. I put this down first, I set it with this, and then I baked with this, and my under eyes look crazy. This one, I think I messed up, at least like this crunchy bunchy part, but like, what happened? My mascara like transferred. So I'm gonna try this again. Maybe it's a me thing. Oh, but that sucks because before when I first put it down, it looked so good, it, it looks brighter but I don't know. I feel like it ate away at my under eye makeup a little bit. What do you think? Let me know down below in the comments. And I genuinely want to know, like genuinely. My under eyes don't look great. But I think I messed this one up because I put setting spray on and then I put powder on too shortly after that. Like I didn't let the spray sit. And anytime you put powder over a wet surface it makes a paste, which the paste is what's underneath my eye, a dry pasty patch. Um, but I'm feeling really good. Cleaned my skincare out. I need to come back to this room though because I went downstairs and cleaned the room and I didn't clean after like filming before and it's a little bit of a mess in here. But I'm getting everything straight this weekend. I need to just like be good. My vanity's so much cleaner. I've just noticed that when there's too much stuff around and it's too cluttered, I get very anxious and I feel like it stops my productivity and it kind of makes me feel trapped. I look crazy. My hair needs to be washed. I used to be able to go a lot longer without washing my hair, but now I gotta wash it every three days. I don't know what's happening. It's getting oilier. And I ordered a bunch of hair care products. Did I tell you that already? I wanna try hair oiling really bad. I got my bamboo brush today. Where did I put it? I don't even know where I put it and I just got it. But I bought that and I'm gonna do the whole routine with you for the first time in one of my vlogs. Probably not this one because I don't think I will get them before tomorrow. What the hell was I saying? Yeah, my under eyes. I'm gonna go and respond on TikTok and uh, just say that it ain't it so far. I'm gonna try again tomorrow though. Mm, and this lip feels so nice. I'm about to go wash my face, but I gotta be honest, like after about an hour or so, my face didn't feel like anything anymore. It literally feels like there's no makeup on my skin and just like, oh my God, this serum is so good and I can't wait to try it again tomorrow. Like my under eyes are a mess. The double powder that I did 
was a no-go. I'm gonna try it again, but I'll let you guys know in the next vlog because I think I'm gonna round this one out pretty quickly. My makeup looks really good though, I'm not gonna lie. And I'm kind of sad to wash it off, but. Hello, good morning. We are wrapping up the vlog today because I didn't realize that the makeup that I filmed from Merit was a hefty, took a hefty amount of time. So I'm enjoying, I can't really say that I'm enjoying it though, my milk coffee. But I wanted to show you the house because I, like I said, I cleaned a lot yesterday and it looks really good. And I love to start a week off with a clean house. There's just something about it. I feel so good about myself. Like I feel like I'm together even though I'm not. Um, but I'm gonna show you in the next vlog what the house looks like after it's totally decorated for Christmas. Cause we did decorate, but we're not totally done. We're gonna finish today. So I'll show you in the next one what it looks like, but let's show you how it looks cleaned and prepped and ready to be Christmasified. Christmasified? I don't know how you say that. Ta-da! There's nothing on the island. It's just so much better. We need to figure out where we're putting all these candles. There's just like way too many candles. We have two Christmas ornaments. Mike and I getting married as penguins. And then this one that he got from his godson the other day on Thanksgiving. And yeah, stay tuned for the Christmas vacation. Thanks for hanging out with me. Bye.